This virus may become just another endemic virus in our communities, and this virus may never go away. entering the human population for, uh, for the first time. Uh, and therefore, it is very hard to predict when uh, we, will, uh, we will prevail over it. What is clear, and I think uh, maybe what uh, Sumia may have been alluding to, is that the current zero prevalence of the current number of people in our population who have been infected is actually relatively low. Uh, and if you're a scientist and you project forward in the absence of a vaccine and you try and calculate how long is it going to take for enough people to become infected so that this disease settles into an, an endemic phase. And we may never, and I think it's important to, uh, to put this on the table, this virus may become just another endemic virus in our communities. And this virus may never go away. HIV has not gone away, but we've come to terms with the virus and we have found the therapies and we've found the prevention methods and people don't feel as scared uh, as they did before and we're offering life to people with HIV, long healthy lives to people with HIV. Uh, and I'm not comparing the two diseases but I think it is important that we're realistic and I don't think anyone can predict when or if this disease will disappear. We do have one great hope. If we do find a highly effective vaccine uh, that we can distribute to, uh, to everyone who needs it in the world, we, w we may have a shot at eliminating uh, this, uh, this uh, virus. Um, but that, vi that vaccine will have to be available 